The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, Gunna just threw uh, Young Thug that in his new video uh, as a cameo. Let's jump straight into it. Um, everybody know um, over the last few years, Young Thug and YSL been um, fighting this Rico case. Um, a lot of Young Thug artists and a couple of his relatives, you know, pleaded guilty uh, within, like, I believe the first year of the case. Uh, Gunner was another one of the guys that uh, pretty much um, told the prosecutors to get out that, you know, YSL was a gang um, and that pretty much that um, he, he had knowledge of certain things that was going on in YSL and pretty much that he was helping fund certain things in YSL. That's pretty much what he pleaded guilty to. Uh, that's pretty much what he gave a statement to. Um, ever since Gunner got out, you know, everybody keep, keep saying that, you know, he is snitched, the young thug ain't messing with him, this, this, and that. At the end of the day, you gotta think, you gotta take these points into consideration. No matter what thug say right now, Gunner is his biggest asset. Thug music ain't selling. He not doing shows no more. Why well, ain't gonna say it's not selling? It's not selling at the rate it was if he would would be out. He's not able to do shows. You know, um, he got a, he got legal bills for him and other individuals that's caught up in this case. So Thug is paying millions of dollars to to fight this this case right here. So a lot of his money, I'm pretty sure, is on hold. Then on top of that, you got to think, you know, he still got what five six kids. Those baby moms got to get taken care of. His girlfriend, Mariah, got to get taken care of. Parents, cribs got to get taken care of. Relatives, cribs. You know, don't nothing stop because Young Thug is in jail. You know what I'm saying? Bills still got to get paid. Kids still got to have the best birthday, first Christmases. Moms still got to get taken care of. Pops still got to get taken care of. So by Young Thug not dropping Gunner, I think was a smart business decision. And in the long run, Thug going to make millions off of it. A lot of people catch flack at Young Thug because it's like he's like sideways messing with Gunner right now. You know, it's clips of him coming out saying that, you know, he don't mess with him. You know, uh, uh, Dirk, um, Dirk, baby, some of Thug closest friends is pretty much a saying that Thug ain't messing with Gunner. But the thing that the people got to realize is, is that he's still contractually signed to YSL, you know, so. Even though Thug might not mess with him from a business standpoint, why would you let Gunna go? Why would you let Gunna go and he dropped two albums since he'd been released out of jail for this Rico thing? And both the first album, um, um, he had a, a three times platinum song off of that F You Mean. Uh, that first album, when he got out, probably made Y7 300, at least five to $10 million. He just dropped another album probably in, in May that debuted at number two, selling like 90,000 copies first week. That's actually good. So here it is that when people keep saying that Gunner is falling off and he's falling off, he's still putting up good numbers. You know, he's still making platinum songs, believe it or not. His highest charted song so far um, for his solo career is F You Me. And he made that after the Rico case and all of the allegations was on his name, you know? So I believe that Thug got a few options if he wanted to sever ties from Gunner. He could sell his contract to any label. Whatever remaining albums is on there, he could sell it. He could release them, you know, or he can keep playing it out and let him finish out his contract. And that's what I think Thug is doing. Thug is a smart businessman right now. When I say that Gunna is his main and only asset right now, who else is on that label that's really actually bringing in revenue to that label? Nobody but Gunna. You know, Lil' Key, rest in peace. Uh, he got a couple gold songs, but there's nobody else on that label that's doing what Gunna is doing. Thug was carrying all the weight. That's what people don't really understand. All those slime language albums and stuff like that, a lot of the fans tapped in just because they wanted to hear Gunna and Thug, you know? But uh, pretty much, man, um, he just dropped a video and um, his dad made some cameo appearances on it. Um, you know, his dad then went to concerts. You know, his dad then showed up to quarter point uh, appearances. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Thug is keeping tabs on Gunner, man. That's still his artist. You know, 
he still invested millions of dollars to get this guy off the ground. You know, he invested time and effort into Gunner's career. Like, so what would make people think that he's just going to step away and not still keep tabs on him? You know, because if anything happened to Gunner, that's your money. So why wouldn't he send his dad and other members to, to make sure he all right? You know, and don't think for a second that Thug and Gunner is not in communication and his and his and Thug dad is at Gunner's courts, shows, uh, videos, all of that. So don't think for a second that those guys ain't in touch, man. You know, but like I said, Thug is in a situation to where, like I say, Gunner is his best asset. You know, if he let Gunner go or sell his, his what, else, what other money do he got that's coming in, you know? Only money that Thug got that's coming in right now is off of his own music. And his music ain't really selling like how it was when he was out a couple years ago. Let's be honest with you. You know, it's just not. I can't remember the last time I really heard, you know, too many people rolling down the street bumping Young Thug. Even though Thug, an icon, you know, in this generation. But, you know, when you out of the public eye, you know, a lot of people, a lot of fans, man, they'll forget about you, you know. But I feel like at the end of the day, man, I feel like Thug is doing the smart business decision thing to do. Uh, why would I release him? Why would I sell his contract when I can just continue to make millions of dollars off this guy? You know, it's obviously he still got a buzz. People still want to hear him after the um, the Rico charges and all of that. People still want to hear Gunner. So I feel like Thug is playing it smart, you know. Don't don't worry about what the streets gonna say about oh you you got a snitch still up under your label because at the end of the day them same street dudes is not about to help pay for young thug lawyer fees and I can guarantee you that thug is paying for his lawyer and several other wild cell members lawyers for that whole Rico trial so I feel like a lot of his money is tied up in this Rico trial on top of he still got a lifestyle that his kids got it that he got to keep for his kids his baby moms his moms his dad. So Thug is spending more money than he probably been making, you know? So I feel like by Gunner still being on YSL and still being signed and still releasing trendy music that's actually still selling, he released an album in May that sold 90,000 copies. For a person that's supposed to be a snitch or a rat and you selling 90,000 copies first week, those are good numbers, you know? It might not be like the early 2000 numbers where people were selling three, 400,000 units, you know, but... You know, because everything is pretty much not physical copies. Everything pretty much go off of streaming. Now, I believe it's uh, 1,500 uh, uh, album downloads count as one, one official album, something like that. So 90,000 first week is still good. You know, that's if you, if you do the math times $10 a CD, that's a, a $900,000 he made for YSL in um, 300 Entertainment first week. So I, like I say... People can keep calling Gunner a rat, a snitch, or a snitch or whatever, but he's Young Thug's biggest asset right now. If he let him go, them legal fees is going to catch him, you know? So if I was him, I'd let him keep releasing music during tours and keep making your money. You invested in him this far, you might as well see your return. It's your boy D's Media signing out. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>